In the next section of this page, we're doing more rhythm accompaniment or chords. And let me just read what it says here. We now be begin to observe that chords have more than one fingering. More than one fingering, more than one way to play the chord, and after a while, more than many places to play the chord. The choice of which one to use generally depends upon the chord fingerings that immediately precede and or follow the chord. We're always making decisions when we're playing chords of what chord we want to go to from another and which one we want to voice lead or play the closest chord form. In this next exercise, we have a set of larger diagrams of chords and smaller diagrams of chords. The way to practice this exercise is to play the larger diagrams first going to one another, then play the smaller diagrams going to one another. So I'm going to play our first A chord will be the larger diagram going to the E7 going to the A7, going to the D, and then D minor, and then we play. If you notice, the larger diagrams on the f first line all incorporate higher notes. We can hear da 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 So it sounds like this. Optional fingering uses more open strings. One, two, three, four. No one way to play a chord is better than another. It always depends on the situation. 